All right, it's early Saturday morning, guys. And we got a few things on today, guys, and I want to take you along the journey. So first, we've got the opening of Pex Road. That's Albin's shop, one of my boys, Albin. Um, he's featured on some of the earlier vlogs. And back then, when we were training together, he actually told me about this idea that he had. He said he wanted to open up a cafe and a donut shop and that was two years ago he literally pulled the book out and said i wanted to look like this like i've got these plans i've been talking to these people that was two years ago and now it's manifested i'm so proud of this guy man i'm so proud of this guy he was he had the goal he had the vision and the dream and he just worked towards it man he worked towards it i seen him working i seen his moves i seen how much he was kind of you know putting into the production and, and and the marketing and now it's come to fruition like now his literal dream that he wrote down in that book is coming to fruition and i can't wait to go and celebrate that with him i'm proud of you brother i can't wait to see you as well so we'll go to that and then we're going to a winery i think um to celebrate our friend's birthday so got a lot on today got a lot of scenery to see but first we gotta go fuck up these legs baby okay it is leg day all right first things first i always used to overlook stretching guys warming up and stretching i used to just walk straight up into the fucking gym smash myself walk straight the fuck out and i paid for it man i started feeling aches in my lower back aches in my joints and i knew all right i need to get some kind of warm-up routine going and stay consistent to it because this shit is not fun so right there i'm doing about four sets of abductor machine 10 to 15 reps just warming up the hips nothing too heavy and doing the same thing on the adductor machine getting ready for the workout so i normally wouldn't do leg extensions first thing but i'm following this program i got to a t and it's got me doing four sets of 10 to 15 reps of leg extensions and all i'm trying to do is pump some blood into the quads get that mind muscle connection going and warm up the knees a little bit not going too super heavy here then it's got me going on to the back squat so right here is my first set i'm just getting warmed up what i'm focusing on is making sure my core is engaged getting my mind muscle connection on point making sure that i'm driving through my heels and my legs are firing up and i'm feeling it where i'm supposed to be feeling it right right here i think is my second to third set on 80 kilos i got about 10 reps honestly i'm not the strongest guy in the gym i did feel the weight of this but i still got it quite clean that was my last set guys man i was dead already and then i got on to the leg press four sets 10 to 12 reps i believe and man my quads the outer part of my quads is where i'm trying to focus on i don't go too deep because i feel if i go too deep and my knees get too close to my chest start to feel it in my lower back but i'm getting a really really good leg uh quad pump outer quad pump uh with this i think that's my first set and that's all i recorded then i went straight on to walking lunges now as you can see i take about two to three seconds on the way down every step that i take that is to ensure that the quad gets the right time under tension and that the muscles are firing up while i am doing these walking lunges you don't want to just fucking bounce up and down from the knees when you're doing this exercise all right on to lying hamstring curls i did about four sets 10 to 12 reps and honestly my legs are already dying guys all right guys i'm coming up to the hour of training and i still got like four exercises left man Vismo jones training programs are no joke man next exercise four sets of seated hamstring curls now honestly my legs were already fried so i was struggling to find mind muscle connection with this one then finishing on the calves guys as you can see i am coming to the top and i am squeezing the calves every rep i'm not just fucking bouncing up and down on the ankles not really feeling the contraction same with the seated calf race squeezing right at the top 
All right, guys, we are finally done. This is how we're looking. Pretty pumped, looking pretty good. I'm gonna go home after this, eat some oats, and then we're gonna go to the opening of Peaks Road. All right, it's a bit of a line. Babe, say what's up. What are you turn like that for? <laughs> She's like, the mask is ruining my makeup. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> there he is. What's up, bro? So long. I know, bro. Look how to get it out done yourself, bro. All right, so this is what we got. We got what is this? Ube boba. Ube boba in a protein shake. I wanted the protein shake. I want to represent pigs, right? I promise. I'm gonna clean this one <laughs> because every time I have a protein shaker, man, I forget to clean it and then I gotta throw it out. And then we got a couple donuts. And we got yeah, we got the OG, OG. glaze and cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Probably gonna eat this later. I don't know if Jen's gonna eat it. I'm gonna now. eat mine now. We need yours. <laughs> She's gonna eat us now, but then we're gonna go uh, to the winery. Is this camera charged? Yeah. Riley, what did you think about the rosé? Gin. Uh, got a mineral water. What do I have here? Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. I'm top that one. It's very rich. You can feel the... Mm. Oh, shut up! <laughs> All right, here we go. With the garlic bread here, some fish. Still drinking the, still drinking the wine. I want to go for a walk over there. All right, guys. Thought I'd just go for a little walk. I got my wine with me on my walk. They're all sitting over there. But yeah, man, I am not having more than three drinks maximum for the whole entire year all the way until new year's day this is not a calorie counting thing like alcohol is putting calories on me i do not want to put myself in a state where the next day i have to pay for it i've done that all my life and i don't want to reset anymore you know i don't want to reset any type of momentum that i build so I put myself to the challenge, you know, my ultimate kind of kryptonite, my ultimate weakness was the buzz, was partying, was kind of having a good time. And if I want to get to the next level, right, if I want to reach a new level of consciousness, I have to let something go. And it's this. So three drinks maximum. It's more of a sober mind kind of thing. It's more of a uh, not paying for the night before kind of thing so I can carry on this momentum and I want to really see where it takes my consciousness and where it takes my character. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. Hey. Right, so I am recording on my phone right now because I am editing the vlog from Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you okay? Are you okay? I'm sick. Oh no. Alright. Oh, I feel like a little vomit. Oh my god, let's go. Alright, peace.